White line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and this week we're doing a little something a little different. We've been on the air now almost a year. And we've been filming all kind of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff y'all don't get to see. So we're going to call this the lost footage episode. So it's all the stuff we filmed. Some of it's funny, some of it's, some of it's really neat, you know, but it's some of the stuff y'all didn't get to see. So Cajun living and cooking starting right about now. All right, y'all, I found the man up here part right here, Mr. Adam Morales. You all doing all right? Oh, I'm doing good. Doing good. Now you say you've been collecting these driftwood figures for twenty over twenty five years. About twenty five years, yeah. And uh, and you get more than one a year because there's over a million of them over here. Oh yeah, and uh, they got unlimited supply in the big swamp, the Trafalaya swamp. Uh huh. If you know where to go. Oh, you got to know where to go. You can't just <laughs> get it anywhere. Y'all, he he finds images. Uh, he'll find fish images. Uh, pterodactyl. Um, the Rugaru. He's found, uh, he's got tables with just fish stuff or just fish bones. And uh, do you have a favorite of, of all of them uh, that, that you found I, over the years? I got quite a few favorites. You do? In my showroom, I got some specials. All right. Yeah. All right. I got E.T. and all in there. Uh, really? Yeah. I had not seen E.T. since the 80s. Now, uh, people come by from time to time and come buy stuff Ooh. from you. Yes. Oh, yeah. I sell a lot of stuff, you know. I bet. Sculptures and all. Now I bet they even come by boat. You're right here on the water. Sometime in party boys. Oh, bring the whole family. They, they leave with driftwood sometime when they stop. Well, I'll tell you what, he's gonna bring us into the showroom and show us all the all the fancy stuff that he's got inside. Yeah. So let's go make a move into there. Okay. This is a high heel boot. A pair of boots. Yeah. And, uh, this is a shovel. That's a ghost. Oh. And if you come over here, you're gonna see a monkey face here. Wow. The two eyes and the chin. Yeah. <laughs> and my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is my piece of right here. Go. Oh. <laughs> and mark this one. Superman flying. That's his head. Oh, B. I thank God I can see him. You do, too. I Uh oh. Finally found the Rugaru. All the years of looking. He lives right here. Lives in the backyard in Pierre Park. In the swamp of South Louisiana. In Pierre Park, Louisiana. The Rugaru. That's, the that's, like, the, that's like the Booger Man. That's the Booger Man to me and you. They call him the, the Rugaru. <laughs> this is one of my special here. Cypress Knee. Man. Baby Owl in it. I put one nose and two eyes, <laughs> and the mama's here. Look. Oh, the mama's right behind. The papa's right there. <laughs> that's a small brain, and that's an angel fish. And that's a chicken hawk. I put a beak on it. <laughs> you see, I found this cypress knee here. Look at that. Got the head of a squirrel or something, and the tail of a turkey. Turkey squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Even little ones. Yeah, y'all know what these are, these $15 thing up here? That's Christmas ornaments? No. Motors. Uh, motors. Yes, I'd put motors. Wash fun of motors. Boat motors. Ah, I like that. You That's got a it. snail. And wash y'all, this is a baby bullfrog. That's the mama. See the legs in the back? Ah, okay. Now wash this. See if you recognize him. E.T. E.T. go home. <laughs> Riding the bicycle. <laughs> yeah. That's a classic. 
And see, that's a knot I cut off of a log. And turned out to be a little frog. Yeah, that's the baby frog. From the back, it looked like an owl. Yeah, yeah. And in the front, it's a little frog. I like E.T. You see, this was on a log. I had to cut a lot of wood off right here. Uh-huh. And here and here. But I took my time and it. I and, didn't mess it up. And carved it down. No, I didn't carve. I just you just chopped them. Off. Chopped them. This is a high heel boot. <laughs> you see like this piece of root I find? Yeah. Man, I said, thank you, Jesus. That's a bird sitting in the water. Yeah. I just put up. Like a big crane it. head or something. That's another cow head over there. Oh, okay. Got all kind of bird. What? That's my little chicken here. Ha <laughs> ha, it moves too. Yeah, watch what I do with body parts now. I don't cut nothing. I just put them together. Look. Now what you call this one? That's a bird. That, and it resembles like a, a almost a, I'd say a turkey face. A yeah, turkey or, face. Or a woodpecker. Yeah, yeah. Now what, over here I got the body of a duck, you see? Uh-huh. All, all you got to do is add a head. They go together. Ha, 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 ha. Watch, I got two more body parts here. Okay. A hopping rabbit. Look at that. See? Yeah. And they probably didn't come from the same spot. No, I found them six months apart. Oh, really? When I found this second piece, I said, dear God, that's it. You been... went to get home and try. Yeah, to put it on there. Yeah. And look, I, got, I found a stealth bomber. Ha, 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 I like that. Got the wings on it. And you see these two cypress knees? I see a little image of a horse here with the ear. Over here is a shark with the mouth open. What? Ah! Uh -uh. Yeah! Yeah! You gotta have a good eye to find that kind Listen, of stuff. Y'all remember them cameras they used to crank? Yeah. I found one. Go board over there. I'm gonna put y'all on the driftwood channel. All right. You got the driftwood channel? Yeah. This is my camera. Driftwood camera. Okay. <laughs> I'm on on Driftwood Channel. <laughs> sure. Are you a nurse, lady? Okay, but, but anyway, let me ask you. You all know what an EKG is, I know. Yeah. Do you all know what's an EGG? No. It's an egg. <laughs> he got me. Listen, he got me. Since you all didn't know what an EGG was, you're a school teacher? No. Uh, you're probably good with numbers, huh? Maybe so. Can y'all make seven even? It's a first grade joke. Seven even. Oh. Take away the S. Oh, no. <laughs> Very good. I'll thank you again for the okay. tour. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Been... We're going fishing. We're in Amelia, which is right by Morgan City. Mm -mm. There he is. That's a good one. It's a brim. Look at that, chicken pin. Another species. Oh, we forgot about the chicken Y'all, we have been on the species haul today. Let's try to name them. What we got? Chicken pin, bull brim, shoe pick, catfish, both eel cat and blue cat, baby bass, caught a gar. And that, that may be all we've caught. This is a nice one here. That's a good looking chicken pin. We hadn't caught a goggle eye yet. No, that's true. Or a socolate. Yeah, we did catch a bar bass. A uh, striped bass. So we've caught close to 10 different species today out here. And cricket and worm has did all the damage. Mostly cricket. The catfish episode we had there was uh, worms. I'm on up in there by that cypress tree. That looks like a good spot. If I was a fish, I would live right there under that nice cypress tree. Well, all right, Joe. Had a good time, bro. Sweet daddy. That was a blast, man. First time I ever come over here, and I will be back again.
The boat launch is awesome. Costs a dollar. They got a porta potty out here. You don't have to go far to get to the fishing. We caught maybe 10 or 12 different species of fish. We got a little ice chest, medium sized ice chest full of fish. We got a bunch of catfish. We got a bunch of brim and it's been a good day. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood, seasoning, sauces, and propane needs. They have local Amy River catfish, $3.99 a pound all year long. Fresh shrimp, Dungeness crab, local frog legs, soft shell crabs, alligator, scallops, live and ball crabs, and cracklings. And don't forget, crawfish season is just around the corner. Always local, never imported, at Hole in the Wall Seafood. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Ascension Trolling Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota Warranty Service Center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Trolling Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the show, the lost footage show, from the stuff from the previous year. And we got some more to show you, so just sit back and enjoy it. All right, y'all, I got the winner right here, Devin Blair. He won the JFA jambalaya contest now he has the golden paddle and he has the big old trophy right here now is there anybody you want to thank or uh, any anything you need to say out there to the two people in tv land about the jambalaya cooking over here man it's it's whatever the judges like you know uh today they, they like my jambalaya uh I, I i like to thank you know my mom she supports me a lot you know right. my mom and dad and uh and good lord the good lord for uh having me here doing doing this for a good cause for, yes, for the right. little ones man uh i enjoy it awesome well congratulations thank y'all so much thank you yes, sir. and we're at the camp this weekend in woodville mississippi for opening weekend and typically we usually kill a couple deer on opening weekend so the future looks bright on this it's going to be cold it's going to be raining All right, y'all, we made it back out of the woods, and I thought we'd be doing this at the skin and shed, but we're not. We're doing this at the camp, and at least we cooked a good, warm soup. Mm -hmm. Rick's going to try it out. Uh, Rick, what uh, what'd you see in the woods? I see nothing. Nothing. A lot of wind, a lot of cold. Not even a squirrel. Nothing. But I'm going to have to tell you, I, I seen five deer. I had a spike Did under you? me. Yeah, I, seen a, I had a spike under me, and nope. I seen another flash of some deer, and on the way out, I seen another deer. Um... I heard a lot of shots. I heard like 21 shots. I heard about 20, about 20 but, shots. But you got me beat. Well, you had a better hunt than I had. We got uh, no deer. Soup is better than my hunt. We got warm soup. Won't you try it out? <laughs> Let's see what we, we got. We see what we're working with here. That's soup. soup. Soup of the day. Soup of the day. I think it's the only soup of the day, but it's a good soup of the day. All right. Good job. Good job. Let's see what everybody else seen in the woods. Where's that sausage from? That's from, that's from Junior's Meat yeah. Market. Mhm. Mm now I'm a, uh, what they what you do it it comes apart. You take one part off of the other one, and then you would take and put the bottom piece on the tree first. So if the bottom falls out, you won't lose it. You'll have a rope to pull it back up. But what you do is once you get in the stand, you climb up in it. You stand on the bottom, and then you lift the top piece up, and then you sit on the top piece and raise the bottom piece up with your feet. So, and you can climb as high as you want. Now you want to be strapped to the tree.
You fishing upriver, further up to more Denim Springs up there, what they really like is them hard, them, them uh, shiners that they catch up there. It's them river shiners. And they'll fish with them cut or alive and, and skip jacks also. They want to pull too much in one spot, and then they tear, tear the meat. They start over. Just like that. When you catch, you know you're catching good when you don't have enough time to count. If you only caught three or four, then you count them. All right, well, let's wash them off and then we'll filet them. This is the fish we caught today. We caught twice this much. We caught about 14 pounds of meat today. Yeah, we weighed it a while ago. That little bitty one that stuck me in the hand. I was going to let him go, but yeah. he stuck me, I'm going to eat it. Yeah, I think we must cook him first. Okay. We'll be right back after this commercial break. The Angler Magazine, find your outdoors here. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials. 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Just when you thought you had the best, there's better. The new Hustler Raptor, heavy duty welded steel deck, professional grade cut quality, premium Kawasaki power, all from just $27.99. The new Raptor series from Hustler, tools, not toys. Come get your Raptor Super Duty today at Gotro's Lawn and Garden in Gonzales. at the Galvez Hardware and they're having a barbecue blowout for the Little Angels doing barbecued chicken, podding of beans, and a fresh homemade potato salad. Donna's making that. And we're also going to be at Gotro's Hardware. They're having mower madness and they're going to be firing fish and cutting some deals on lawn mowers. Good old, good old barbecued chicken, oh, sweet baby God. rays, oh, marinated all night. Awesome. That's the word of the day. Awesome. All over my face. Good, good chicken. Mm -hmm. Good chicken. <laughs> Y'all heard it, y'all. Awesome chicken at Galvis Hardware and outdoor cooking. Hey, y'all, caught Zach. He's the walker rep out here. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the walker lawnmower? Walker's been made out in Fort Collins, Colorado since 1980. Everything that we make is commercial grade, all out front machines. Um, what we offer with the out front advantage is reduced trimming time, less scalping, a better quality of cut. Um, ease of maintenance, as you can see, with the decks tilting up like they do. Yeah, that's awesome. That deck, that deck tilting up, that amazed me. That's what caught my eye about the walker mower. Yes, sir. Uh, for easy cleaning. Yep, sharpening your blades. You don't have to climb up underneath it or jack it up with a hoist or anything like that. You're telling me even storage. You can fit yes, it in sir. there even better. Yep. And then with the decks being out front like they are, the decks are all interchangeable. So you can actually adjust to your situation. Um, if you happen to move out in the country and you need a bigger machine, you can just buy a bigger deck. 
Ah, you tell me y'all sell them separate. The tractor is sold separate in the deck, so you can... Yes, sir. You can configure it any way that works best for your current situation. Um, everything from drive tire sizes to decks, motors, fuel injection, carbureted. Um, it's Sky's kind of, the limit, huh? It's like going to Subway. You can have it your way. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, y'all come out to GoTros, y'all, and check out these Walker mowers. They're really awesome. All right, y'all, look who I found out here, Mr. Ruben Molaire. Now, uh, you're the president of the, what's the club? Uh, Back Road Buggies, and they, they call me the president. Yeah, you you was probably the one that just happened to be getting in charge. That's I, how you got to be it, the president. I get stuck with it. Now, it's really nice that y'all came out here to bring the bring the cars out here. Well, we make a lot of uh, benefits and stuff like this, and it's always good to help out, you know, somebody that needs it. Yeah, and this is a good foundation. Good. This is a... Uh, this is the Little Angels Foundation. For everybody who don't know, he makes caskets for children that don't have, who pass away and they don't have enough money for caskets. Well, he makes them and gives them to the family. So this creates the money. Things like this is what creates the right. money to build those caskets. Yeah, it, yeah, it helps. Now, Everything helps. Now, you was telling me not all the buggies showed up. No, we got several more that had uh, uh, family, family deals they had to go to and stuff like that. Yeah. But, but I think there's like 20 of us to you normally that, that own these things <laughs> come out and ride around yeah, now yeah. It's, it's mostly little volkswagen engines yeah, in there I saw a volkswagen engine some of them a little souped up than the other ones that's what you was telling me it looked like some nitrous in oh, one of them some, over they there got nitrous in one of them man well uh and he had to put wheelie balls because the front end won't stay on the ground this one's yours huh this is mine yeah i love that one that's the lsu color oh one. yeah yeah you gotta have the tiger people from alabama don't like that i don't know why yeah but they don't they don't know <laughs> they don't know any better that's why Today we're in Dutchtown, we rabbit hunting. We got some good jam up dogs. We're gonna see if we got some rabbits in these woods and we're gonna cook some good old dirty rice. So All right, Jeff, that was a good hunt. Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed it, had a good time there and uh, dogs pushed a few rabbits for us, but uh, probably could have shoved a few more, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, now y'all been hunting, y'all been hunting Friday, Saturday, and today's Sunday. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Where y'all went Friday, what y'all did? Well, we went over to Mr. Chuck Spicer's, a buddy of mine, got some property over yonder on Byron or Cease, and uh -huh. uh, got in a little old palmetto thicket over yonder, and we killed a couple rabbits. Uh, a lot of hard hunting in there. It's uh, palmettos are hard to hunt in, you know. But, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we got a couple fish. Now what makes uh, one spot better than another spot? It's, That's hard to tell. Yeah? It, it's just something that you like about it. Yeah, a lot of these, if you can get on the drop off, you're gonna catch fish. Right off the, right, right off the drop off. Right off the, I mean, they swim down that drop off and catch food when it, when it rolls off. Yeah. It's a good place. And where you catch a lot of fish one day, you might not catch none the next time. Yeah. And then again, that's why they call it fishing. Yes, sir. Who said they don't have crawfish in the meat meat room? Look at there. We should have been running crawfish traps. <laughs> now, you can keep them, I believe. I don't think that's against the law. I catch crabs in them, and I know it's, you can't keep them. I don't know about crawfish. Yeah. Well, that's river crawfish, y'all. Yeah, they white. Those actually get bigger than a red crawfish. The tail does anyway. The body on a red crawfish is longer, but the, uh, the tail on a white crawfish gets bigger. Stick it's almost like eating a shrimp. Yes, indeed. That's good bait. Yeah. <laughs> We're catching bait. All right, Gary. Something to bring home. Yeah, that's the best eating fish they got in the river right here. Oh, uh, we did a little swap. I got in front of the camera the first time y'all see me on the camera, but I've been holding the camera the whole time and talking. Gary brought some help, so we got to put him on the camera. <laughs> I had a good time, man. I'm glad. And I, and I want to go back again. Yeah, come. And maybe one time we'll do it and we'll fill the boat up with fish. We'll do it during the spring when they spawn them. Yeah. Guarantee we'll fill it up. That's fun stuff, man. Uh, 
not everybody gets to go and do stuff like this, so that's why we get to put it out there. And, you know, maybe you can experience it. Maybe, maybe it's you know, it's a dying art hooting that running. People yeah. don't do that anymore. And the market's not there no more. To make the money on because of the ponds. The yes, yeah. indeed. But uh, folks, we had a good time. We had a great time, really. I loved yeah. it. What else would you want to do on a Monday morning? <laughs> Could go to work. Hey, we're out at the LSU Stadium for some tailgate. It's the first game of the year. We're playing UAB, and we're going to have a real good time out here. We're going to meet people from all over the world, all over Louisiana, and we're going to have a good time. We're out here with MMR. We're at their trail out here, and uh, they're cooking some elk. I think they're cooking elk gravy. Let's see what you think. Let's try to try And what's your name? Brooklyn, too. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed the Lost Footage Show, and be sure and tune in next week. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.